Welcome to today's Business Transformation 101 podcast. I am your host, Bill Fegis, and today we will discuss 3P, or the Production Preparation Process. 3P is the process of developing an integrated product and production system that will meet the requirements of product design quality at the necessary production volume at the target cost by the target date. Unlike Kaizans, which are generally aimed at improving existing processes, a 3P event is essentially starting with a clean sheet of paper and utilizing lean principles from the inception of the project. Note that 3P can also be focused on just a process or product design, but it's more powerful when the 3P event couples the product and process from the start. The 3P team members link the process hardware, such as fixtures, materials, equipment, tooling, and tools, to the process software consisting of material flow, information flow, standard work, and inspection, to provide an effective production system. The team incorporates lean concepts such as one-piece flow, tack time, pokey yoke or mistake proofing, chaku chaku or load load, auto eject, ergonomics, quick changeover, pull systems, TPM or total productive maintenance, and the avoidance of monuments. 3P can provide a sustainable competitive advantage through a differentiated product design coupled with a differentiated production process. While competitors can buy a product and reverse engineer it to close a differentiation gap, it is much more difficult to reverse engineer the process that produced the product since it is hidden away in the company's facility and production processes. The 3P process should be used when some of the following situations exist. A new product is being developed. An existing product is undergoing a significant redesign. There is a significant uptick in demand. Or a new plant is being built. Also, if there are significant barriers in the existing product process that are limiting the company's ability to meet customer demand effectively and profitably. And finally, when there is a need to create additional space in a facility. The 3P process should also address safety, quality, introduction lead time, delivery, product cost, capex, inventory, and growth. As with all lean improvement tools, the 3P team should be cross-functional with members from marketing, new product development, process engineering, production, field service, etc. The team's first task is to agree upon the objectives of the 3P event. These could include product features and performance, customer demand level, quality requirements, target cost, production lead time, etc. Once the team is aligned on the objectives, they begin by itemizing the key functional items of the product and production process to determine which items should be explored for improvement. Each team member identifies the key words that describe the function or functions of the item being improved. Key words that describe the item's function could include examples of clamp, spin, hinge, grip, crush, adhere, drill, or enclose. Next, each member identifies potential examples from nature that match their keywords. Examples could be for clamp, Nature example could be alligator's jaw. For spin, it could be a tornado. For a hinge, it could be a hip joint. Grip could be met in nature by eagle talons. Crushed by a lobster claw. Adhere by a barnacle. Drill by a woodpecker. Or enclose by a turtle shell. The purpose of using examples from nature is to encourage and stimulate innovative thinking. Nature has spent millions of years evolving and perfecting these examples, and the objective is to fuel ideas from this pool of evolutionary development. Each team member groups their keywords and their nature examples into similar categories, and then sketches an example for each group detailing the key attributes. Each member should create at least seven sketches for design ideas. The team groups the sketches they have all complete it to combine similar designs, and selects criteria on which to evaluate the designs. The criteria are listed on a 3P evaluation form, along with the designs from the team. Utilizing the criteria, the team selects the seven best designs to move forward in the process. 
The team now fabricates or builds an evaluation prototype for each of the seven best designs. These prototypes are done quickly and in a rudimentary fashion, utilizing items such as cardboard, duct tape, wood, metal, and other materials that can be found off the shelf in a hardware store or in the company's model shop. The intent is to have a simple physical model of each design that can be evaluated by the team through testing and data collection. This prototyping process is sometimes referred to as moonshining since it is hidden from the company's top management and built on scavenged materials. These seven prototype designs are tested against the criteria from the prior 3P evaluation form and data is collected. They are also evaluated on a 3P seven-way form that rates each of the seven prototype designs on pokey yoke or mistake proofing, hand tools required, jigs, and fixturing required. Based upon performance against the 3P evaluation form criteria and the 3P seven-way ratings, the team narrows the seven designs down to the best three designs. At this point, the team iterates each of the remaining three designs to further refine and improve the designs. This process should be done using tri-storming, which is a hands-on refinement approach that consists of modifying, testing, modifying, and so forth, not simply just talking about potential refinements. The team also develops a process at a glance form for each design that documents the process for realizing each design in production. An evaluation committee is formed which represents design engineering, manufacturing engineering, sales, marketing, purchasing, quality, production, the tool room, and operators to judge the three refined prototype designs and select the best design. The team presents each prototype design and its associated data to the committee working to sell the design as the best option. The evaluation committee selects the final design based on the team presentations on each design idea. This process is repeated by the team for any other key functional parts of the product that should be explored as well as for any key processes. The team documents the best design options for each functional item of the product and production process. These designs are used to drive the product design and implementation of the production process. In summary, the 3P or production preparation process provides a product and production system design that meets or exceeds the customer's requirements for product functionality, quality, lead time, and price. The 3P determines the key functions required in the product and process to fulfill the requirements. Solutions for the key functions are described by keywords, which are then explored in the context of solutions that have evolved in nature. The team diverges to generate a wide range of potential solutions and then through an iterative process of tri-storming, experimenting, and collecting data converges down to the three best solutions. The team presents the three best solutions and the data for each of those solutions, describing their ability to meet the key functional requirements to a cross-functional evaluation committee, which selects the best solution. This process is repeated on all key functions for the product and process requirements. The outputs from the 3P process are used by the team to implement the product and its production process that support the customer's product design and quality requirements while also meeting the demand level, lead time, and cost targets. In the interest of continuous improvement, I invite feedback from our listeners. Please share your thoughts and ideas on these weekly podcasts and feel free to suggest topics which you believe would provide useful information for you and our listeners. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast on 3P. Please join us next week when we discuss TPM or total productive maintenance.